Hey everybody, it's Pastor Daniel, and I'm here on day three of our day uh, of our 40 day journey through the purpose of life. So today's guest is Jessica. Hey Jessica. Hello. How are you doing today? Good, good. A little chilly, but we're good. It is a little chilly today. Yep. Um, so I'm excited to, uh, to get through this, not through the study, but as we continue to go through this, uh, because today's reading kind of just wet my appetite for discovering what these purposes are because today it talked about the driving force of your life that everybody has something in life that that drives them and there was a list and i i just wrote them down quickly of bad things that drive our life guilt can drive our lives uh, resentment and anger fear materialism and the need for approval were just some of the things that he listed like these things can really drive your life did uh, did anything in there kind of hit you as you read through there I think reading that, uh, everything hit me because I don't think we ever, um, or I never would say that out loud, that something like that drives my life. But right. yeah, I think at different points in my life, money has been a, a, a driving force or guilt. Um, and I think being able to read it in the chapter was, um, scary like eye opening that that yeah i've been there yeah me too uh I, I think every one of them hit me at some point in my life i could look back and see and um then he shifted over and he talked about the value of having god's purpose as the driving force of your life the thing that does that and he talked about when you have when you have god's purpose as your driving force it does things for you he didn't tell us what those purposes are yet. We're going to get those in days to come. Uh, mm -hmm. But he, he said what you're going to find is when you have God's purpose, you're going to find the meaning of life. You're going to find that your life is able to be simplified um, and, and help you make choices as to how you should be spending your time. Uh, it'll help you find focus in your life. It'll help you find motivation and passion. And it also prepare you for it for eternity. Did, did any of those really kind of resonate with, yes, <clears throat> I'm either doing those things or or, or I, I want to do those things. What, what stood out to you today? Well, I think the, the two questions that it says, and it kind of like leads you to keep reading the book because it says uh, that at the end of this book, you will have two answers. Um, you know, God will ask you and you will have the, the perfect answer or, the, or a better answer to these questions of um, what have you done with my son? What have you, what have, did you do with, with Jesus. And the other question was, um, so what did you do with the gift I gave you, you know, with your own life? Yeah. And I think that was such powerful uh, questions that I cannot wait <laughs> to get the answers. Yeah, I think we're going to have to resist reading ahead, or I am going to have to, because I'm like, all right, dude, if this is going to really make that big of a change in my life, I'm, I'm ready to discover it. The one that stood out to me the most was the, the motivating factor that knowing God's purpose motivates you and it gives you passion because you know just life can be really mundane at times where you know you're parenting or you're just going through the day-to-day -day responsibilities and you're like oh i have to get out of bed again and then there was a line in the book today that said it motivates you to get out of bed and it reminded me of, of a quote i heard in a movie that said start every day as if it were on purpose and i'm like yes that's what i want to do i want to have god's purpose for my life so you have any closing thoughts or anything else you'd like to share with us well, I guess the, the, the one thing that they had a question at the end that said, what drives our life? And I think my answer immediately was, uh, that is my children. And I think mm -hmm. it's in this society, uh, it's pretty lowable to say, yeah, as a single mother, uh, for me, definitely my children. And I think many, um, many parents or moms in my case would say that. Um, however, I think um, it is much more than just that. Um, my purpose in life, it, it, it's definitely um, serving the Lord and doing what he wants me to do with my life and with those children that are his children. Uh, but I think um, being able to separate that um, is, a, is a process. It's a long journey. And I think it made me think of that. Yeah, it's a good point. Many times we can take God's good gifts to us, like our children, and they can become the purpose of our life and instead of God being that. So I'll close with this. Uh, today was talking about thinking about our purpose uh, as we get ready to discover them over the next few days or, or 
37 days left. Uh, we're going to discover five purposes, but it, it talked about, it said, living on purpose is the path to peace. So when we know our purpose, it's going to bring peace to our lives. Isaiah chapter 26, verse three, it said, you Lord give perfect peace to those who keep their purpose firm and their trust in you. And so that was a big thing for me today to remember to keep my trust in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for joining me, Jessica. Um, did a great job today. Our interviews are going wonderful and uh, people are getting to see some of the wonderful people that are part of our church. So uh, thank you so much and we will see you next time. All right, thanks. Bye. Bye.